Question 23. Kerubo bought 420 bananas at 20 shillings for every 8 bananas. For every 70 bananas she bought, she was given one extra banana. She hired a cart for 50 shillings to transport the bananas. During the transportation, 14 bananas got spoiled and the remaining ones were sold. Determine A part 1. The total amount of money that Kerubo spent. Kerubo spent money in buying the bananas and for paying for the cart that transported the bananas. So buying the bananas so total amount is equal to amount uh, used in buying the bananas which will be 420 over 8 times 20. Why do you divide by 8? Because for every 8 bananas she used 20 shillings for every 8 bananas. So to see how many 20 shillings were used here, we take 420 divided by 8 to see how many 8s go there because for each 8, 20 shillings were spent. Then plus the cost of the cut, which is 50 shillings. We are going to have 1100 shillings. So we get M1, A1. Question 23A, part 2. Calculate the number of bananas sold. Uh, in order to get the number of bananas sold, first to get the number of bananas bought. So bananas bought. Is equal to. Is equal to 420 extra bananas we are told that uh, for every 70 bananas bought uh, she was given one extra banana so for the number of extra bananas given it will be 420 over 70 to get the extra bananas so the extra bananas will be six so she bought 420, she was given 6 extra bananas, so total number of bananas will be 426, but we are told that 14 of the bananas got spoiled during transportation. So bananas sold, will be equal to 426 minus 14 is equal to 412 bananas. Then we get B1 for the answer. Kerubo made a 60% profit. Question 23b. Kerubo made a 60% profit after selling some of the bananas at 30 shillings for every 5 bananas and the rest at 10 shillings for every 3 bananas. Calculate the number of bananas sold at 30 shillings for every 5 bananas. Because you don't know the number of bananas bought uh, at 30 shillings for every 5 bananas, we can let that number be an unknown so that we say let the number of bananas bought at 30 shillings for every five be 
y. Then we'll have the number of bananas bought at 10 shillings for every 3. will be equal to 400 and 12 minus y because the number of bananas were total number of bananas would be 412 now we are told that kerubo made at 60 percent profit after selling some of the bananas at 30 shillings for every five shillings for every five and the rest at 10 shillings for every three. The profit was 60%. So we can get the selling price. And say the selling price is equal to 60% more than the buying price. So it is 160 over 100 times the buying price, which was 1100. This is equal to 1000. 760. So this is the selling price after categorizing those ones which were bought at 30 shillings for every five and those which were bought at 10 shillings for every three. Now we want to get the selling price because if Y bananas were bought at 30 shillings for every five then it means uh, that the selling price for the bananas will be y over 5 times 30 because that's the total number of bananas bought for 30 shilling for every 5 then you say plus bananas which were bought at 10 shillings for every 3 will be 412 minus y over 3 but they were bought at 10 shillings. This selling price is equal to the selling price, which is 1760. So when we simplify further, we are going to have 18 Y plus 412 minus 10 X is equal to 1760 when you collect like terms we're going to have 18x minus 10x is equal to 8x so 8x is equal to 1760 is equal to 1760 minus 412 so we'll find out that x y sorry we are using the unknown which is y not x so we just make the, the small change so that this is y and this is y So we find that y is equal to 145. So it means that 145 bananas were sold at 30 shillings for every 5 bananas. So for the marking, we are going to get M1 for the selling price, M1 for working out uh, the selling price using the how they were divided into 30 shillings for every 5 and 10 shillings for every 3. M1 for calculating the value of uh, number of bananas sold at 30 shillings. And A1 for the actual answer given correctly. Question 23. B part 2. Find the amount of money obtained from the bananas sold 
at 10 shillings for every 3 shillings, for every 3. Find the amount of money obtained from the bananas sold at 10 shillings for every 3. So we have gotten that the banana, the banana sold at 30 shillings for every 5 is 145. So that means to get the banana sold for every 3 at 10 shillings, will be equal to 412 minus 145 because you have gotten that uh, 145 was sold at 30 shillings for every 5 so the remainder will be 412 minus 145 which is equal to 267 so these bananas were sold at 10 shillings for every three so that means that the selling price will be 267 bananas but for every three of them they were sold at 10 shillings so that means that the selling price will be 100 890 shillings so again we get m1 for working out m1 for working out the number of bananas sold at 10 shillings for every 3, M1 for working out, and A1 for the actual answer.